Was it he'd had a disabled son who unfortunately, you know, sad God rest his soul, that son died a few years ago. But David Cameron brought up that deceased son in the leaders' debate, which I found was a bit tasteless when you think that David Cameron used to claim disability living allowance for his son. Now, if he's a rich guy, he didn't need to claim that disability living allowance, but he did, and now he's cutting it off of all of us telling people who have got serious illnesses like cancer, people who've had amputations, that they can't have disability living allowance. But just remember that he claimed it. He claimed it for his son, but he won't let you have it. It isn't... Right. ...party are about empowering the people of Salford. We're not about governing you up to speed and let you know that you're absolutely being hammered by the local by the by the local let's say the uh, the Labour Party at the moment but by government completely we're getting absolutely hammered into the ground if you um, on benefits in Salford the likelihood is you're going to be sanctioned if you vote Labour they will continue with austerity measures so the bedroom tax you under a Labour council a Labour government we can't have that we've got to say no to them come up and say and speak to us if you're not registered to vote we can help you to do that we want to help the people of Salford. Yeah, if you're not registered to vote, you're not going to make...